I have received complaints and comments from farmers asking about how to avoid death of chicks during brooding. Most of them say they have tried everything and they have done everything in the right way but it's not working out. In this video, I want to discuss with you how easy it is to maintain 95% and above of the survival rate of chicks during the brooding stage. In the next couple of minutes, I want to discuss about six things that are very important during brooding that if you consider them and do them in the right way, you will be able to save your chicks during this brooding stage to avoid early mortalities. Many farmers have been told that as, as far as the temperatures of the brooder are okay, then everything is going to work out correctly. When this is true, temperature maintenance is just but one of the parts of the bigger picture that farmers should understand when it comes to brooding chicks. But before we continue with this video, it will be of great joy and great help to the farmers and also to this channel if you'd hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification if you have not done so. And also, if you get our videos educative, kindly make sure that you hit that like button. This helps the algorithm to push our videos to more farmers. Into today's discussion, the first thing that you must consider during brooding is the sourcing of your chicks. Where you buy your chicks is directly linked to your success in poultry farming. I know the point about buying the chicks from a reputable hatchery has been said over and over again, but this doesn't mean that it should not be taken uh, seriously. This is because, and this is uh, through my own experience, I had bought some chicks and a lot of them died and uh, the cause was coli bacillosis. And this disease usually emanates from the hatchery. Another disease uh, that kills chicks during the brooding stage and that originates from poor handling practices in the hatchery is the salmonella. Therefore, it is very important to source your chicks from a reputable hatchery. Also make sure that the chicks are vaccinated for Malek's disease because the vaccination of Malek's disease takes place in the hatchery. The second thing is about the brooder. The brooder should be circular. Some of the farmers may ignore this but the effect that this causes is that it leads to the chicks clustering and uh, going into the corners. That is if the brooder is not circular and this leads to lack of sufficient air which causes suffocation of, of the chicks and also it leads to decreased feed intake which lead to the death of the chicks. Another thing is about the ventilation. Make sure that brooder is well ventilated because a good flow of oxygen is very important to chicks at this stage. The other thing is about the heating. Especially if you are using the ultraviolet bulb as your source of heat, make sure that it is raised 30 cm from the ground of the brooder. Don't raise it too high above or bring it too close. Make sure it is at around 30 centimeters above the ground. The other thing about the brooder is the lighting. The lighting should be sufficient for the chicks to be able to see the feeds in the water. Also, if the light is too much, this leads to cannibalism because the reflection of the surfaces of the feet of the chicks may lead to toe pecking which is a form of cannibalism. Uh, the other thing about in the brooder is about how you place the feeders and the drinkers. The chick should not go more than one meter without finding the water and the feed. The other thing is the water and the feeds. The water and the feeds should be sufficient and for the water, make sure that you provide 150 ml per bird per day and for the feed, make sure that you estimate at 90 grams per bird per day. The other thing is about uh, the chlorinated water. Make sure that you fetch um, the chlorinated water, put it in a container and let it stay for 12 to 24 hours before you give it to the chickens because allowing the water to stay for these hours brings the levels of the chlorine in the water down and it eliminates any kind of complications that these high levels of chlorine can cause to the chicks. The other thing is about the feeds. What I have learned uh, the hard way about the feeds is about their aflatoxins. Make sure that you buy feeds in small batches so that you can avoid keeping the feeds in the farm 
at the expense of you know getting contaminated with the aflatoxins another thing is that make sure that you buy the feeds from a reputable miller the other thing is about the quality of the ingredients and, and this is if you are mixing your own feeds make sure that you buy the ingredients from a place where you are sure that they maintain or they sell good quality products the other thing is about the handling and stress management and here there are two things that i want to discuss number one is the about the transportation that is the loading uh, the transportation of the chicks to the farm and also the unloading if it is not done properly then this induces stress to the chicks which may cause death after arrival in the farm and this is why why again buying chicks from a reputable hatchery counts because if they take good care of the chicks unnecessary stress is going to be avoided when the chicks arrive at the farm give them a multivitamin and antibiotic in the water the multivitamins helps to support the chicks and help them to recover from the stress and the antibiotic eliminates risks that the chicks could be facing infections for example the coli bacillosis and salmonellosis the other thing is about the littering material kindly farmers do not use sawdust and newspapers because during the first few days of life the chicks can mistake the feeds and the sawdust particles and when they consume this sawdust particles then this will definitely cause complications in the digestive system which leads to death another thing about the newspapers is that they get wet easily and this predisposes the chicks to infection and also when they get wet you have to change them and this causes stress and this will lead to decreased feed intake and if there is one thing that you don't want to do to your chicks at during brooding at this early stage is introducing them to stress therefore what i recommend is that and this is through experience is that you use the wood shavings or the hay or the dried grass and this is a very effective way because the wood shavings and the grass are not easily ingestible by the chicks and also they are able to absorb the water that may spill over therefore wetness will be avoided effectively the other important thing is the attention how do you attend to the chicks chicks at this stage are usually very delicate therefore make sure that you take your time and attend the chicks effectively check for any symptoms or change in feed intake any abnormal changes must be taken seriously because they are a threat to the chicks life as you consider these six important things during brooding so that you can be able to avoid the early mortalities in your chicks hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the things that you should do before the chicks arrive at the farm from the hatchery